for today's Cyber CEO episode. I knew how these two people could really help my business. And I was absolutely right. It's been fantastic to have both of them on board. Kelly and Joe have now taken that off my hands. And that's like amazing. It's good. It's so much peace of mind. I'm driving where I'm supposed to be driving and I get an email by the time I park that says it's all taken care of. So that's great. Always happy to talk about Cyberbacker. It's made a huge impact, not only in my business, but in my life personally. So I'm super grateful. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. All right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show right now. Ron, how are you doing today? I am doing fantastic, Jello. Good to see you. Yes, good to finally see you. And of course, we're very, very excited to have you on the show. So let's get the ball rolling. To let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are also business owners just like you. So I need your help here. Can you introduce yourself to our audience, maybe starting off with what is your role in the business, Ron? Yeah, my name's Ron Mast, and I am actually, my wife describes me as a multipreneur. So I I have several (laughs) different companies. Uh, My main company is I am a real estate broker with Keller Williams. I also do own a mortgage company. I have for years and years done fix and flip uh, foreclosure homes. And then most recently, I've actually become a franchise owner of Cyberbacker, which is really exciting. Yes, there we go. We're very, very excited for the partnership, of course, between you and Cyberbacker. Very excited for potential, the growth and everything that comes with it, of course. Yeah. Now, Ron, by the way, how long have you been in the real estate business? I'd like to know. Wow. I have been in real estate over 30 years. 30 years. So uh, actually, fresh out of college. I became a loan officer, mm-hmm. and so I was really uh, mortgage was my my initial. Um, but as I uh, grew and developed in my career, I also became a real estate agent. So I've been doing both um, lending and real estate for upwards to thirty years now. Yeah, Gosh, a lot of experience right there, just in real estate. I'm also curious to know how about with Cyberbacker? How long have you been partnered with us? Yeah, so Cyberbacker, I just uh, brought on my first Cyberbacker February of this year, so just just about 90 days ago. Um, And the way that that happened was I'm part of the Leadership Council Mm -hmm. of Keller Williams, and I happened to be at a Leadership Council meeting with with all the leaders um, of about three different uh, market centers. And I want to say about three of the six people at my table were talking about the fact that they had recently hired cyberbackers. And I had never heard of cyberbackers. So I'm always curious to find out um, good innovation. And so I asked, what is a cyberbacker? I wanted to know more, more, more. All of a sudden, we weren't even talking about the leadership council um, <laughs> issues. We started talking about cyberbacker. And I was so intrigued. I went on the website. Um, requested more information. And as I started going through the process, I realized that this is a great fit for my business. This is something that for me became just a no brainer. So instead of a leadership meeting, it became a somewhat of a cyber backer meeting, something yeah. like that. <laughs> well, at least at our table, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I'd yeah. like to know, I'm also curious, um, when you first heard that word, cyber backer, what thoughts uh-huh. came to your mind? Yeah, well, I actually, I again, I had never heard of it, so I wasn't exactly sure. Um, but as uh, the gentleman at my table started describing it, I quickly understood exactly what what it meant, and that really what we're talking about is a virtual assistant, and typically from the Philippines, and somebody that can really help to leverage your business. Yeah, there you go. 
leverage, of course, virtual leverage provided by Cyberbacker. Now, um, th- is this your first time working with someone virtual or did you have experience before Cyberbacker? Great question. I have had hundreds over my career. This is the first time I've ever had somebody that's a virtual assistant. Yeah, I've, ne- I've never even known that that was a possibility. Mm-hmm. I've interacted with many uh, virtual assistants with bigger companies, you know, mm-hmm. like so. And it's funny, as I was waiting for my cyber backers to come on board, I'm talking to big telephone companies and direct TV and that kind of thing. And mm-hmm. and they're, uh, I'm hearing a little bit of an accent and I'm saying, hey, are you from the Philippines? Oh, yes, I am <laughs> in the Philippines. Oh, well, you know, I'm about to hire somebody. So, yeah, I didn't think that somebody with a business mm-hmm. my size could even have a virtual assistant. I didn't think it was possible. There we go. So I'd like to know, how was the transition there? Because again, it was just an idea before. So now, how was the transition to being used to working with people physically there in the office to now having to work with someone virtual? Yeah, well, with COVID, uh, much like a lot of businesses, uh, when COVID hit, that I do have that are local and uh, started working from home. And so we we really had already transitioned into that type of virtual environment where, you know, I might have, it was only in the office two days a week or um, somebody's sick. So everybody's working at home and that kind of thing. So we kind of got used to working virtually, um, relying on technology to communicate a little bit more and that kind of thing. And so that it really has been seamless uh, for us. And then I also have had, uh, prior to having Cyberbacker, I did have a transaction coordinating company that was off-site. It wasn't necessarily virtual, but but it was off-site within my city that I worked with. Okay, gotcha. So basically, partly the pandemic really tried, I mean, helped you adjust to working virtual then, partly. Yeah, you bet. Yep. Now, and, and really in our office, we have... I want to say 400 Mm -hmm. uh, agents in our office and really only about 20, 25 office within the the company. So there's a lot, there's a lot of virtual work going on right now for sure. Gotcha. Virtual world. There we go. (laughs) Now, um, Ron, do you remember the give up list that you had to create before you got partnered with Cyberback? When I say give up list, the set of tasks that you're going to be leveraging. Now um, I'd like to know more about that list. What were those tasks that were part of your give up list? Well, so that was that was a great part of the process because I was paired with a growth backer who worked with me to create what we call the one sheet. And it really started with a job description uh, that we worked with together. Um, and then we got it down to one page of items that my um, cyber backer could do for me. And so at the top of my list was transaction coordinating. So for me as a realtor, that is why this was a no-brainer. Um, I was paying $300 per transaction to an outside transaction coordinating company. And that was great. I had no complaints, happy to pay it. It really was leveraging my business. But um, I close approximately 10 transactions per month. So I'm paying $3,000 a month for transaction coordinating. And again, uh, no complaints. I'm happy to do it. But what I quickly realized is I could hire a cyber backer who could do those transactions, handle the, the 10, and still have 20 hours a month available for other duties and cost me less money. So what happened was we went ahead and, and did the job description, mm-hmm. started with the transaction coordinating, but also this cyber backer who is Kelly is mm-hmm. going to um, help me to uh, market to my clients mm-hmm. and to continually work on reaching out to my book of business, which is something that I never got to. I'm, I was always so concerned with the closings of the day and the contracts of the day that I didn't have the time to reach out to the previous clients and ask for referrals, which sounds idiotic because that's the main thing I should be doing. But anyway, so that was my job description. So I started into the process um, and I got to tell you, the process was fantastic. So the way that it works with Cyberbacker is um, once we have the job description done, we have a career backer And that career backer 
matches my job description and actually even my personality to their pool of candidates. Cyberbacker has over a thousand applicants per week that want to work for Cyberbacker. They they pair those down to only a select few. I think yes. it's two or three percent of the applicants, and then they send them my way. So I'm looking at resumes. I'm looking at a short video from from the candidates, and then I'm also looking at a job fit report that tells me how they're going to fit within this job. Um, and I can really hone in on the ones that I want to interview. And it was an awesome process. And what shocked me is I'm looking at these resumes and these are college graduates. These are people sometimes with master's degrees, super experienced in customer service. I mean, these are very, very qualified candidates. So actually it was difficult to even get it down to, I think I um, interviewed four to start with. Um, and then, um, as I went through the interviews, I was, I was doing my interviews and I interviewed a gal named Kelly, who is, a, you know, spoiler alert, yeah. she's the <laughs> transaction coordinator. And just right away, I knew I'm like, she's fantastic. She, I could tell, um, she's got attention to detail. She's, um, just so friendly and warm. And then I interviewed, um, a gentleman named Joe. And he had a different skill set. And Joe, I could tell, man, this guy would be fantastic on the phones. This guy could really help me because I have leads that I don't have time to follow up on. I literally am losing business because I don't have time to follow up. And so I hired two. I actually hired two. I, I went in to hire one and I ended up hiring two, which was awesome. But I knew because I've been in business for so long, mm -hmm. I knew how these two people could really help my business. And I was absolutely right. And so it's been fantastic to have both of them on board. Um, and so something that was fantastic, that was super unexpected for me, was both of them had two weeks worth of training before they even started with me. And Cyberbacker went through modules. We have a specific uh, CRM system. So both of them came in knowing more about the CRM than I do honestly. Um, and I was a little concerned on the TC side that there mm -hmm. would be a lag period because Kelly didn't really, she didn't know real estate at all. Right. And so I have to say, I'm so proud of her because she came in and the first week she was asking a lot of questions, but they're good questions. Right. And so she, and she just uh, stepped up and she started working very independently. And then I'm not kidding. By the end of the first week, Kelly was sending emails to the agent on the other side of the transaction, suggesting what that agent hadn't done correctly in the contract, or she needs to get this signed, or you know, whatever. She's helping the other agent. And it's just blowing my mind that she's like all of a sudden, you know, really coordinating the transaction for both sides. Um, and she's never stopped. And so, you know, the blessing with Kelly is. Mm -hmm. Um, I can have something go under contract and within five minutes, she's sending out emails. She's introducing herself to the other uh, side of the transaction. She's uh, asking for disclosures. She's, she just, she just goes and she, <laughs> she knows what she's doing. And then on the other hand, we have Joe. Yes. And the awesome thing about Joe is he has totally increased productivity for my company so with Joe coming on board, he has uh, been able to immediately uh, jump on our leads, you know, calling, emailing them, texting them, you know, answering questions, moving them forward in the process. And he has more than doubled our productivity, honestly, um, where we had, we, we go by um, applications and uh, our applications have doubled since Joe's come on board wow. in only three days. Yeah, so he's he's very much a godsend. He's a blessing. We love <laughs> Joe. So yeah, so that's great. Um, and then recently, I just brought on a cyberbacker last week and her name's Joyce. Nice. Um, so what's happened there is um, Joe and Kelly, they've increased our pro productivity so much that now we have more approved clients that need help. And so we've brought in Joyce and she's going to be helping my team 
to work the approved clients to get more people to the finish line. So it's really just um, growing exponentially and we couldn't be happier. Yeah. There we go. It's a snowball effect, something like that, because Kelly started it, helped you double the business. Now you have Joe. Then now finally you have Joyce. Probably you might not even end with three cyber backers. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. I can't see that happening. Yeah. And I mean, just it, when you look at it, it's it's so economical. Honestly, the, the difference is when you have that is in the U.S., you've got not only the salary, but you've got taxes, FICA, FUTA, you know, social security, uh, 401k, workman's compensation. So the salary alone is not the end of the story. You know, there's things that add on and on and on. With Cyberbacker, it's one charge. Um, yes. It's very economical, comes out directly every month, and it's it's easy. It's very easy. There you go. Again, just building on the partnership with Cyberbacker right there. And I can already feel the connection that you have with your Cyberbackers, even though it's only been more than 90 days for your first two Cyberbackers. Now, I'm curious to know, how did it become a successful partnership this quick? Imagine just yeah. 90 days. What did you do? Maybe you have any tips that you can share with our listeners that they can use as well. Well, it's not only what I did, but it's what Cyberbacker did. Um, and this is honestly, this is one of the big reasons that I um, bought the Houston franchise of Cyberbacker is that Cyberbacker as a company backs. And so that to me was shockingly um, unexpected result of working with Cyberbacker. So I'm actually getting weekly reports from Cyberbacker corporate where they are um, meeting with my cyber backers offline and they're finding out what's going well, what are the challenges, what are they doing to overcome them and what are their goals? And I'm getting weekly reports. So they have ongoing training for the cyber backers. Um, recently, I wanted Kelly to learn more about LinkedIn. She uh, reached out to Cyberbacker. They have a training module and boom, all of a sudden Kelly is a LinkedIn expert. In addition to that, as you were asking, for me, it's about communication. So we have what we call our, our morning huddle and we get together um, virtually every morning. And quite honestly, I talk to my cyber backers as much or more than my ems that are sitting in the other room, you know, because we're intentionally on this call, right? And we're huddling yeah. and we're talking about the day and what we need to accomplish. What's the, the one thing that we want to accomplish today that'll drive the business forward? Definitely. I totally agree with the communication piece because, of course, it really has to be open communication between you and your cyber backer because they are already thousands of miles away from you. So need to build, try and bridge that gap, something like that, right? You bet. You bet. Yes. Yeah. Now, I don't really want to put you in the hot seat here, but I have to because I'm really curious. You have three cyber backers, and yeah. I know that each one have these special traits. Now, I'd like to know, what is the best part? about each of your cyber backers? Yeah, oh, that's, that's a great question. <laughs> so, um, so with Kelly, um, her attention to detail is, I, honestly, I can't even think of a, another mm -hmm. that I've ever had that has had her attention to detail. Um, she just wants to do things right. Um, she, like I said, she's anticipating um, all the time in, of my needs and what's needed on files and what would make things better. Kelly and Joe have now taken that off my hands. And that's like amazing. It's good. It's so much peace of mind to, to know that, you know, all of a sudden, you know, in this same scenario, I'm driving where I'm supposed to be driving and I get an email by the time I park that says, yeah. you know, the offer is there. It's all taken care of. So that's great. Um, with Joe, Joe is Joe's sense of humor is really good. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Um, I, there was one time where uh, we, we had some kind of, oh, we met, we met our monthly goal and Joe had like disco lights going on in his, <laughs> in his room. Um, and the, I have to brag on Joe for this story. It's just so amazing. The second week that Joe was on board, we were having our huddle and Kelly says, hey, congratulations, Joe. I'm like, what's up? And He's like, she's like, he got married yesterday. Wow. I'm like, he got married yesterday. I got, I said, Joe, you got married yesterday and you're talking to me today. 
He's like, yeah, well, you know, it, you know. And, and I'm like, Joe, you're not, you're not working today, buddy. <laughs> you're, you're, this is it. So I, yeah. So I said, you know, go be with your wife, but that shows the dedication. There you, you go. Know, it shows the dedication. I mean, that's, that's amazing. You know, so, you know, super proud of those guys. And Joyce, like I said, she's brand new. Um, but the the thing about Joyce mm-hmm. is she's already like gone through training mm-hmm. and our staff here has has done some ongoing training. So I'm asking her questions and and she just gets it. She's so intelligent. Um, she just really um, right off the bat is understanding new concepts and has no fear to take on responsibility. So she's she's already fantastic. There so, you go. And my team, the feedback from my team is they they absolutely adore her and she's going to do great. We just know it. Yeah. Now, I know it's only been 90 days, but here in Cyberbacker, we are very, very excited to see where this partnership between you and Cyberbacker would be in the next few years to come. And of course, Ron, thank you very much for being on the show today. We really appreciate it. And I hope this isn't the last time that we get to do this. Of course. Yes. No, it's fantastic. I'm always Always happy to talk about Cyberbacker. It's made a huge impact, not only in my business, Mm -hmm. but in my life personally. So I'm super grateful. We appreciate you and your business, Ron. You have a great day. Take care. Thank you, Jello. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.